Eunice, this is absolutely fascinating because if you're dealing with, of course, Eastern European nations, that means you're dealing with the EU, bearing in mind countries such as Romania, Slovakia, Slovenia, uh, Bulgaria, Croatia, they're all countries labelled Central and Eastern European, but they're all in the EU. So does that mean that EU-China ties are, are set to blossom, Eunice? Good morning to you. Uh, good morning to you, too. I think that's what the Chinese want very much. Uh, the Chinese are on a charm offensive in, in Europe in order to try to woo support in the face of this trade war that they're having with the United States. Uh, as you had said, the Chinese Premier Li Keqiang is in Germany, and he's expected to be meeting with uh, Angela Merkel, the chancellor there. And this is, comes after a weekend uh, in Bulgaria where he was meeting with Eastern European leaders. And at that meeting, his message was that China is open to foreign investors. Now, this is a very important meeting because it comes right after or it comes right ahead of another important summit here in Beijing. This is the EU-China summit, and it's hosted by Li Keqiang, and it's also going to be attended by some very high-level European officials. Uh, Donald Tusk, for example, Jean-Claude uh, uh, Juncker is also going to be in attendance leading the EU side. And uh, traditionally, in the past several years, this summit has been a time when both sides could discuss issues that are important important to China and the EU. But those discussions have fallen apart. And there were a lot of questions here as just to how, just how useful the summit was becoming until this year, when the European Commission vice president recently who was here uh, spoke, to, spoke to us and said that he was quite encouraged by some of the discussions and the fact that the two sides are going to be exchanging offers on market access. So there is a message here that uh, many people are seeing that China wants to present a united front against the United States with Europe. But I was speaking to a senior a diplomat, a European diplomat, who said that it's true that they do feel that China is uh, uh, asking them to present a united front when it comes to U.S. protectionism, but that the Chinese do know that the Europeans and the Chinese have a lot of conflict in their relationship, mainly over the same issues as the Americans, such as market access, as well as fair treatment in this market. And um, and he said that uh, the, on the, from the European side, they just don't really know whether or not the Chinese are spewing rhetoric, or is this something that they're actually going to see more progress on. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.